T. Higgins may be my fourth receiver so far. That's not official. But in this class, the fourth receiver can still be a fantastic receiver, right? There's going to be somebody saying, yo, I wouldn't spend a first-round pick on the fourth best receiver. Well, bro, in a class full of gangsters, and T. Higgins is one of them, in a class full of gangsters, you'll be lucky to get the fourth best receiver for, for a first-round pick. Just go ahead and get them and just move on with your life. I'm going to talk about a handful of things that make T. Higgins fantastic. I normally don't like big receivers. T. Higgins is a big receiver, a big, long guy. I normally don't like him too much because they can't separate. There's a few guys that can, um, but I don't like them because they can't separate very well, most of them. T. Higgins not only is a big guy, but he separates with speed. He got a little bit of route running in him. He ain't really winning like that, but he wins with speed and his physical traits, like his length, um, you know, his 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 catch radius and things like that. <laughs> boy his catch radius him um catching the football away from his body you know things like that it, it th those things help t higgins separate right like here buddy hey man football is a game of inches player and if you're missing a few of them you can't get to the ball right there if you can't get to the ball right there then then that's where t higgins has has the advantage you can move him inside and outside right and you know you line t higgins up in the slide and get him on a mismatch against one of these safeties that that can't jump that's ball game for him right let's keep this going um so yes so even if t higgins couldn't separate with speed in which he can we'll talk about that later it's more of a long speed um but even if he couldn't separate with speed he does snatch the ball out of the air another example here right another example here like look at how much distance is between the ball and the defender here right boom boom by right there that's a lot of space and t higgins i wouldn't call him the most physical receiver in this class i wouldn't call him that but in terms of when it's time to go fight for the ball, I would say with contested catches, T. Higgins is probably, um, you know, I wouldn't say I wouldn't even say one of the more physical guys. Let me just be appropriate when I say this. But he he he, he gets more physical when it comes to contested passes. Um, you know, don't really run T. Higgins over the middle. Some people are going to say that he's kind of soft over the middle. But a hey, cool run him in the end zone where he ain't got to get hit when he catch it. You know, run out routes with him, run nine routes with him. He ain't, ain't got to go over the middle. Um, speaking of red zone, I think he's going to absolutely be a gangster in the red zone because in the red zone, all you need is a little bit of separation, just a few inches of separation. And what he does with this catch rate is he'll body somebody out, right? He'll, he'll just post some dude up and get those long arms going and catch the ball away from you to where you can't bat the pass down and you can't run through him. That's pass interference. You know, T Higgins kind of got a cheat code in that way. Uh, there are a few receivers like him. You know, like you can, you know, go find a Denzel Mims from uh, from Baylor. Maybe you can <laughs> you can go find a Denzel Mims from Baylor or something. You know what I mean? But um, I would say that Higgins and Mims are the only guys in this category to which I would take those guys to where they're big, tall, long guys, super red zone guys, super catch radius guys, uh, snatch the ball out of the air, but they can still run at the end of at the end of the day like those are the two guys that i kind of put in that category man t higgins is really good in the red zone i think i think this is just a touchdown reel right just him getting touchdowns in the end zone using his length and like I, you know he can run routes i wouldn't call him a super route runny guy or whatever but you don't need to separate with your routes when you can do this Right, if you can catch the ball with people draped on your hip, I mean that's fine. That's two. That's two people right there. That's two children right there. Can't even bring down T. Uh, can't can't even can't even defend against T. Higgins. They can't do it. So if the if the timing is correct, if the ball is thrown well, man, good luck to you. You're on an island with this dude. Look at that. Look at that. That's another way to create separation. Some some people, like say Jerry Judy, right? He creates separation with nuance, route running, and quickness and slipperiness, right? This is separation too, children. <laughs> oh, that's separation too, man. The YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing on my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute. 
Oh man, we was talking about T Higgins earlier about his speed. I think he has more of a rolling top speed type of deal. Uh, I don't even know if he catches these passes. He, he he caught this one. I don't know if he catches the next few. But it it that they are the examples of um you know if if he can get rolling then he'll get rolling. So he does give you vertical ability. I wouldn't say that he has like super acceleration like a like a um like a Henry Ruggs anything like that but he does get downfield on guys in a hurry um and that's just more so of that top speed that rolling momentum long stride speed that he has going on but like I said man he's mostly gonna smoke children um you know with his you know with his other physical traits but he can run and that's very important in the National Football League can you run you know T Higgins is sort of yak guy and I wouldn't say he's yak guy like all the other yak guys right but he does have some yak ability and I think that comes from his size right that's another kind of kind of yak guy that we gotta that we gotta talk about and address you know some people well y'all go watch my other YRC videos and we'll you know you'll hear about the different types of yak guys but I think man T Higgins is 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 just yakking people with you know size at this point like you know it's harder to tackle a tall guy you know Sometimes you'll you'll run into a like a really clumsy tall guy that'll kind of tackle themselves because they're 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 so long, right? But if you can wiggle and balance your way, I've said that a lot on this channel in the past, you know, month or so. But if you can wiggle your way and balance your way into, you know, being yak guy, you can be tall yak guy and be hard to tackle because they can't get a good purchase on your limbs like that you know so sure t higgins will give you some value as a yak guy i wouldn't i wouldn't put him in a category as the first handful of guys that we've that we've talked about here i wouldn't put him there but you know is he a guy that you can use in a quick game situation sure i just didn't want y'all thinking that t higgins was all red zone and nine routes he, he, he ain't that i really like t higgins i'm a fan of him and like i said he'll probably end up being like my wide receiver three four or five somewhere in that category um i just gotta you know figure out where i like them and i gotta continue to find tooth comb the rest of these guys i've watched about 35 receivers because it's that many of them in this class man it's that many receivers in this class that you could just get and and you know and just draft and play accordingly to kind of just play their spot or whatever but i think there's a handful of guys to where it'll be hard to find a replacement for them uh, that'll be the first three guys that we that we've um that we've talked about t higgins is a guy that'll be hard to replace and even though denzel mims is roughly kind of like t higgins i think those two guys together can stand on their own in terms of it's hard to find guys like them so i think these are guys that you should get early but that's just my thoughts and my opinions there we'll talk more when it's time to do wide receiver ranking videos but hey man this is what I got for you so far. Next video uh, may be like LaVisca Chanel or something like that. And, you know, I ain't going to tell you where, where Higgins rank towards Chanel or whatever. You're just going to have to find out in April. But till then, man, uh, Patreon, Twitter, uh, V-O-C-H-L-O-N-B-A-R-D-I. Salute to my YouTube folk and subscribe and notification gang and all that. And catch some of my live streams, man. I know there's a handful of people that's only here for the film and don't watch the live streams, but we really get some good information going on the live streams. And, you know, y'all want to ask me questions and, you know, talk to me. And, like, like that's what the live streams are for. Um, we do chat box in there. We also do phones in there. So check me out, man. Peace, y'all.